hello friends uh, now let us deal with the remaining tumors which are seen in the breast carcinoma the remaining carcinomatous elements which are seen in the breast carcinoma which includes medullary carcinoma of the breast so in the medullary carcinoma it is uh, to say clearly it is also a variant of uh, uh, breast carcinoma here it is a variant of duct ca ductal carcinoma basically so coming to the morphological features uh, grossly it is characterized by large well circumscribed right they are well circumscribed large and rounded mass and they look soft fleshy or brain like basically they look like brain so they are given a name called as encephaloid carcinoma because of being it as a brain like so cut section it shows areas of hemorrhage these are hemorrhage and these are necrotic areas right areas of hemorrhage and necrosis what is the histological picture so fine histologically so to start with uh, has any other uh, tumor it has tumor cells and the stroma this here the stroma is very less right and the tumor cells are pleomorphic uh, and with large vesicular nucleus and they are large vesicular nucleus pleomorphic right and secondly this is a variant of ductal carcinoma but it generally doesn't show uh, much of the ducts right because these tumor cells are directly so sorry this is the stroma because the stroma is very less and in the stroma can just mixed with the color so the tumor cells are just spread bizarrely and diffusely right there is no special uh, feature for the medullary carcinoma right the tumor cells are just spread bizarrely or uh, uh, diffusely in the stroma and the second thing is it has also has a lymphocytic infiltrates all these are the lymphocytic cells lymphocytic cells with round nucleus right so basically what does this uh, medullary carcinoma look like basically it contains tumor cells one these tumor cells are large pleomorphic that is they are small short large and they are of different shape right with abundant cytoplasm large nucleus to say large vesicular nucleus and with bizarre and atypical mitosis so i would like to draw one tumor cell which is like that so this is large tumor cell and this is small tumor cell so this is the pleomorphic and they have many cytoplasm with vesicular nucleus the nucleus has many vesicles so this is vesicular nucleus it has abundant cytoplasm all this is the cytoplasm and rarely there are bizarre mito or atypical mitotic pod so this is mitotic right so this is what the tumor cell look like so these are mitotic bodies right what does stroma look like the stroma is very scanty with a lymphocyte lymphoid infiltrate right this is these are the tumor cells 
take a bundle of your muscles so that they can clear your oxygen. Right? The other cells which are surrounding it are nothing but the lymphocytes. Right? These are the lymphocytes. And there is very less trauma. Very less trauma cells. Fatty stroma cells. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the tumor which is medullary carcinoma of breast. So next let us de deal with the other carcinoma of breast which is colloid carcinoma. I will do it in next page. Or mucinous carcinoma. So now let us deal with the other carcinoma which is colloid or mucinous. carcinoma of breast right so the colloid carcinoma or mucinous carcinoma of breast it is mostly uncommon in the breast right it has better prognosis in fact so basically speaking in the morphological features grossly the colloid carcinoma is soft gelatinous mass with well demarcated borders uh, histologically this contains large amount of so here this is a colloid carcinoma so it contains um, extracellular epithelium mucin so here there are tumor cells so this is a pool of tumor cells this is tumor cell this is tumor cell and these are the pools of mucin basically pools of mucin have been seen these are the pools of mucin which are seen around the wing around the tumor cells and even in these are the lakes of mucin in these legs of the mucin, you can see cuboidal or tall columnar cells, right, with mucinous vacuolation in between. You can see these are mucinous vacuolation. So here basically you can see many legs of mucin with mucinous vacuolation in these legs of mucin and the colloid carcinoma also contains the epithelial tissues that is reduct when it is filled with mucin when this is reduct it is filled with mucin when this is reduct or racini which are filled with mucin it is racini and it is filled with mucin it is reduct and it is filled with mucin right this is what a major and the, the, there is a stroma with anaplastic tumor cells so this is one right and there are tumor cells so basically what is the structure there are pools of mucin with columnar or cuboidal cells with mucus vacuolation fine this is one and even epithelial mucin and acini okay filled with mucin or seam so this is the morphological feature of colloid carcinoma in our next class we would deal with other morphological forms of breast carcinoma okay then bye